Otherwise, if I look there, there he is. There is a big event in Ozark this weekend, and they're going to light up the night sky. And to give us the scoop on what's going on is Jackie Barger, Executive Director at uh, Children's Smile Center. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Been doing this a long time yes, for this, this type of event. The 15th annual Balloon Glow in uh, downtown Ozark for mm -hmm. uh, Children's Smile Center. Yeah, explain that a little bit because, yeah. Yeah, you know, okay, it's very nice to have a festival and this and that, but why? Why are you doing this? Well, Children's Smile Center is a large nonprofit organization that provides dental clinics for thousands of kids from a six county area just south and west of Springfield. Christian, Stone, Taney, Lawrence, Dade, Berry counties. In those six counties, there's not a dentist that takes Medicaid referrals ah. at all. So we step in the gap, and it's not the dentist's fault. No. Uh, the reimbursement rate is too low to be able to cover the cost. So we have a nonprofit organization that steps in the gap yeah. to provide regular dental clinics, and that's important. A lot of people think when I say nonprofit, Serving kids on Medicaid, they say, oh, you got a van? No. Oh, you got retired volunteers? No. A regular dental office. And they say, oh, our patients, when they come see us, a lot of times, for the first time, it's like, oh, we didn't expect this. Mm -hmm. But here's the, the point. Our, our, our philosophy is, why does the low-income population expect to have a different level of health care than the general public. Yeah. Uh, we don't have to go there, but no. but that's our, we we take a strong stand on providing state of the art facilities, uh, highly trained and experienced staff, a positive professional attitude, dignity and respect, and we have a lot of fun too. Uh, when it comes to dental health, also that is, I mean, when you think about it, it's the front line to a lot of other health. Exactly. You know, and your teeth aren't taken care of. Other parts of you can go bad quickly. In the last 25 years especially, there has been a mm, tsunami of information and research that mm -hmm. proves just that, yeah. that the mouth literally opens up your entire it health. It is a gatekeeper to your health. Exactly. Tell me what is going to be going on You now. bet. Friday night, uh, June uh, 18th, is the 15th annual Balloon Glow in downtown Ozark. Here's what's going to happen. There will be, at last count, seven or eight hot air balloons that will set up about 8.30 when it's starting to get dusk, right. to, dusk to dark. And they will set up and inflate their balloons. It is a dramatic event to watch the envelope lay flat on the ground and start to fill up and then set up. The baskets are tethered to the ground. Mm -hmm. I want to make no mistake here. It's not going to be a flight. You don't fly at night. Yeah, I get it. The FAA says yeah, no. Yeah. And uh, the balloons will set up. And against a dark black sky, it is so dramatic, majestic, <laughs> picturesque. It truly is. Well, yeah. you can see one oh, of the pictures my goodness. back here. But, yeah, I mean, you t it, 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 it does. It just lights up the sky, these beautiful colors. And you joke about kids of all ages. But, but to see grown-ups just... Their jaws drop. Oh, yeah. It's not just for kids and families. It's for everybody to enjoy it. And uh, if the weather allows, when mm -hmm. I say weather, I'm, we're referring mainly to wind speeds. Right. Uh, you weather guys are helping us out for Friday so far. Don't try to. Yeah, you're already doing a good job. Yeah. Uh, but the wind speed is the only thing we uh, we are concerned about. We're lucky. We're down in a valley right there on the banks of the Finley River in downtown Ozark, which takes off some of the edge of the wind. If it's less than eight miles an hour, we're doing good. All right. Now, you said, of course, that they're going to start setting it up 830. First of all, I know, get them, get there early. Do this not try to show a, up at 830. Yeah, 830, you're going to be, but you'll still see it, but it's better to get there early. If people want more information about this, all that's going on during the weekend, how, how do they get this, Jackie? We've got a couple of Facebook pages. Uh, at, just put in Hot Air Balloon Glow or 15th Annual Balloon Glow on Facebook. You're going to find us or through the Children's Smile Center website or Facebook page. But then also the two-day uh, festival that we're inside, the Sertoma Duck Race Festival. Yes. Google that and get some more information about parking and vendors, and it'll be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Great reason to be there, and you're going to see some fun things, too. Jackie, thanks. Appreciate Good to see you. Being here. All right, up next, we're kicking the Ozarks Live virtual stage to the side today for the real deal. You don't want to miss which band is joining us next, so don't go away. Ozarks Live will be right back.